Hi, I'm Daniel. This is Asheville. Thank you for joining us today for a truck review. Today, we have a Scania 6x2 R500 tractor unit. Come and have a look. She has a 12-speed automatic gearbox, and she has two crawler gears, which help when doing heavy haulage. She also has a retarder brake, and I love a retarder brake because the retarder brake enables the lorry to slow down using the gearbox and it saves you on your discs and pads and all your braking systems and it also saves you a lot on fuel. I did say this lorry was an automatic. However, we have something called a clutch on demand, which means when we do need a clutch, we can call upon it to get ourselves out of stuck. For instance, you go into the landfill, you get stuck or you need to do a tight maneuver, you can call upon your clutch to maneuver as best way you can to get yourself out of trouble. See, do you see this? It's skidding. The wheels are just spinning out. Yeah, it's bloody dug a hole. On the front of this lorry, we have 38565 super singles. And on the rear, we have 31580s, which are better suited to construction work as they have thicker sidewalls. She's not too heavy. She weighs in at 9,800 kilograms. This I especially love. Here's our fifth wheel where we can connect up our trailers. We have an adjustable fifth wheel, which means we can have different length trailers attached to it. Suspension wise, we have a front axle capable of 9,000 kilograms. On the rear, we have 19,000 kilograms, which is broke up into 11,500 kilograms and 7,500 kilograms. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So this here is the automatic braking system. It uses a radar to detect the vehicle in front. If the driver fails to slow down, it gives him a warning, and if he fails to stop, the truck will come to a complete stop. One of the problems I always had when I was out driving, first thing in the morning, you do your defect checks, especially in the winter, it's pitch black outside, you have a bulb out. Now, everything's LED. It's perfect. And you can also check all your lighting from your key. The truck will simultaneously go through all our lights and check, and we can see at what point what is and isn't working. It's a fantastic idea. And it's not an excuse to be lazy. It's just another way of checking. Don't get lazy. On the side of the lorry, each side, we have this. External storage apartments. You can keep your muddy boots, because obviously we all keep the inside of the lorry clean. You can keep, here we go. What's he got in here? WD-40, got hammers, brushes, got window cleaner. This man clearly takes care of this lorry. This is really good and this is well thought out by Scania. And we've got one on both sides of the lorry. Let's have a look inside. This lorry is greatly designed inside. If we have a look straight away, our dashboard is angled downwards and our pillars are reduced in size and our windscreen actually wraps around giving us better vision. Our windows are lower than you'd find generally in other lorries. And the actual vision that you've got from this point, like it's fantastic, I can see everything. Using my mirrors, I have full vision of the area around me. We have all the mods and cons. We have a sat nav, we have a Bluetooth telephone, we have a number of USB charging points. Seating wise, we've gone for the premium seats with the armrest. The driver's seat has a shock absorber in it to take all the rough ride out of it. And a favorite of mine, the red seat belt, which we're gonna need because we're gonna go for a drive. The red seat belt lets all your other road users and your pedestrians know whether you actually have your seat belt on because you can see it clearly. Having a look at my dashboard, I have my adjustable steering column, a leather steering wheel, and I have a multifunctional steering wheel, which means my attention never needs to come away from my area here. I can change my radio stations, I can answer the phone, I can put my volume up and down, I can go into the driver information system within the unit. I can do absolutely everything from my nice leather steering wheel. And when we start her up, I can see this lovely Scania interface. I have all my climate control here, I have my satellite navigation, radio music, I have an iPod holder here, should I choose to fit one. I have all my CCTV, driver side, passenger side, and we've also got a camera looking at the front. This camera is once our trailer is connected. This gives the driver an opportunity to have a look at what's being loaded into the lorry to see if he's being overloaded and to see what's going on around it. If we have a look at our seven inch screen, the way this is plumbed in, I drop it into reverse, I get a full view of the back. I have absolutely everything I could possibly need to drive this vehicle and none of it is out of my reach. We move her into drive 
and we can see a gear is selected based on the weight which the lorry can feel. We have an automatic handbrake and we pull off. It's really smooth, it's really comfortable. It actually feels like driving a car. She looks great. We've gone for the XT. We don't have a construction height chassis. We have a road chassis. We have the light covers, etc. So the lorry actually looks quite aggressive, uh, which we like. The driver is actually a lot lower to the ground as opposed to a construction chassis, which is about four or 500 mil higher. And it's said that you have better vision. So we've gone for a six by two with the tag axle. Now, it's probably the first, I wouldn't say it's a negative point, but it's the first point I'm gonna say that with this lorry sometimes, if you're in a muck tip, you can get stuck. So with a six before double drive, with a construction chassis on it, you're slightly higher and you've got that power to get you out of the tip. So if you're in the tip, it's really mucky, you're pulling the trailer behind, it's really wet, it's the middle of winter, you could find yourself getting stuck in the tip. And in here, it is, it can be a bit tricky. We do have our, our clutch on demand, which we can use, and we can also pull up one of our axles and we can try to maneuver and we can try to, to get ourselves out of stuck. Really smooth gear change. Put my foot down a bit. Oh, you can really feel that. Coming up to a junction. Again, vision's really important. I have full vision. And we put our foot down and we move off. And I can actually see on my dash here, I can see the way I'm changing through the gears. If I pull up to a set of lights, for, out of traffic lights, which is on the hill, the lorry will automatically, the handbrake will come on. And when I put my foot down, after two seconds, the automatic handbrake will come off. So it safeguards myself and safeguards all other road users against the lorry rolling back. Temperature's nice in here. They call it aircon, but this is really climate control. Into the straight, the foot goes down, and that's when you feel the 500 horsepower. We'll go on to the lane assist. You're tired at the wheel, or you begin to veer into another lane, the truck will beep and the truck will let you know that you're changing lanes. Again, really good feature. It's not uh, artificial intelligence, but they've kind of tried to develop the truck so the truck can not drive for you, but the truck can assist you as best it can. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the engine. You see, this is a 500 engine. So it's 500 brake horsepower. Now there are those out there that say, you need a V8, you need 650 at least, you need 550 at least. But for the work that we do from a fuel point of view and generally using the truck to its optimum, we believe a 500 is more than enough. This vehicle at the moment is capable of pulling, it's plated at 72 ton. However, with a few changes, we could get it up to 78 ton. We don't do heavy haulage work every day. Of course, we come in at just under 44 tons. 500 is more than enough. And one of the good things about these Scania's is it's a 13 liter engine, more than adequate. And you never really hear this lorry struggling. Um, some of the boys who work for us, who used to drive V8 to other firms doing heavy haulage, they say sometimes when you've got a full load on, you can feel the load. But you know, there's, um, I wouldn't say that that's any shame on this lorry to feel yourself pulling a load behind. You know, those boys just want to drive around in, in V8 seven, 730s all day with 200 lights on the front and light bars and a big lit up Scania LED on the back here. But for us, as I said, this is perfect. So for me, the Scania R500 is a winner. Great fuel efficiency, great drivability, great cockpit. One downfall I would say, the six by two in a landfill can sometimes get stuck. Other than that, we think it's a perfect truck. Thanks for watching the review of our Scania R500 six by two tractor unit. I hope it was informative and very useful. Leave your comments down below and let us know what other vehicles you'd like us to review. And remember to subscribe. Click here to subscribe to the Asheville channel. Click here to visit our website. Click here for more reviews and click here for a full playlist.